Hey guys, welcome back to Functional Fitness KO. I'm certified personal trainer Karen O'Sullivan. Today is Webcam Wednesday. I'm going to talk about salt. Most Americans consume more than the recommended daily allowance of salt, which according to the National Institute of Health is 2400 milligrams a day, which is about a teaspoon of salt. Now, most people consume more than this, not just because you know they add salt to their food, which is something you probably shouldn't be doing because all of our food has so much salt in it. Now why? is It's because it's processed. If you check, most frozen foods have salt in it. So make sure that you check the nutrition information, read that label. Same thing with um, canned foods. Make sure that you're checking for no salt added foods. Sodium is salt, by the way. Now, what's the point? Who cares, right? What if I consume more than 2,400 milligrams of salt a day. Now over time this can be an issue. Salt dehydrates us, it sucks the water out of certain cells, so like our blood, it thickens our blood which makes our heart, it makes it more difficult for our heart to push blood through our body, which over time can lead to things like heart disease, one of the leading causes of death of most Americans. So, moral of the story, don't add salt into anything. Don't, you know, spray your little salt on your, in your you know, spaghetti when you're cooking or add it to your meat. Um, you already have enough. If you are consuming more salt one day and the rest of your week you don't take in 2400 milligrams of salt, that's okay. Just make sure that you increase your fluids for that day. Drink more water, not beer or soda, which also has salt in it. So, moral of the story, again, don't add salt. Hope this video was helpful. Please subscribe to Functional Fitness K.O. Oh.